Hi, and welcome to Gen XY or Generation XY. I'm Danny Crouch from Generation X. Better than Lego. Sorry, I couldn't help myself. <laughs> I'm Malcolm Painter from Gen Y. How are you? Yeah, we like using catchphrases. <laughs> <laughs> it's better than Lego. <laughs> nice one. I hope that didn't break the sound barrier for the oh, microphone. Yeah, yeah rest, uh, there's a saying that we in my generation use, rip, rest in peace. So rip headphone users. So if anyone's listening to this with headphones, that's going to be very loud for them. Okay, never heard that one before. Yeah, I heard but that. hey, that's my generation. How are you, Dan? You're up. I'm talking about my generation. <laughs> the who? Who? No, there's a TV show about that too. Oh, is there really? Yeah, there was. <laughs> Sean McAuliffe used to run it. But anyway, that's not what we want to talk about. That's a weird <laughs> intro. Very bizarre. <laughs> but anyway, we talk crap. Yeah, we shit. do. If we're allowed to swear, shit, shit, fuck it. Oh, I can say one right now, but I won't. <laughs> so, we're into episode three of Gen XY. Um, officially. Officially? Yeah, officially well, episode three. It hasn't been uploaded yet. Oh, true, actually. <laughs> We've already had four or five goes at it today already. And then some. Yeah. yeah. But um, the objective is uh, we catch up a lot of the time. Um, I'm in Generation X, and on Saturday, two days away from today... Correct. He turns exactly half my age. So... Two, gen- two different generations coming together. And don't think we drink red wine all the time. We're normally beer drinkers. VB, it's mate, just, the very uh, best. Oh, God. There's a generation. It's funny because you drink pure about. blonde and you don't even have hair. I've got blonde hair. Yeah, well, wishful thinking. You want to be the very best and I want to have hair. <laughs> <laughs> what are we talking about today, mate? Well, to outline what we want to do, we're going to do sort of roughly 30-minute sessions or podcasts or YouTube shows or whatever it is. We want to break it into three segments. There's going to be a couple of underlying tones that we sort of stick to each week. Um, in my business, we talk strengths and positive psychology. So one of my strengths is maximizer. So my segment's going to be called the Mad Maximizer. Where Jeez, where'd you get that idea from? Bad Maximizer. Mel. Yeah. Mel, oh, okay. Yeah. Back in my day. I believe that's all we can say, actually. We better not say the last one. Yeah, back in my day, though. Back in, yeah. Yeah. Back in your day, yeah. Back in my day. Yeah. My segment will be, um, I know boats. Yeah, are you sure? Yeah, I know boats. Don't, back, oh, don't back chat me, I know boats. Well, to clarify, I thought it was going to be Mal knows boats because we didn't uh, want to copyright copy someone right. else's. Yeah, so. Blocker, don't sue us, please. <laughs> I don't think Blocker's got the <laughs> rights on that anyway. <laughs> Lowe's. So that came from Generation X, and of course... I sent him a video through one of these app thingies that uh, he knows all about, but he's got me onto. App Social media. App, uh, app thingies. Uh, showed him this ad. It's an old ad from one of the retailing clothing stores, mainly for men. But, but they're still uh, around Lowe's, isn't it? Well, if it is Lowe's. Yeah, I think yeah, it's definitely still around. I'm sure it is. Could be. But, but uh, I, I'm just laughing at the fact that your generation said app thingies yeah. and, and went like this. I mean, <laughs> I guarantee you everyone in your generation, oh, oh, yeah, app thingies. Yeah, I know what that is. And my generation would just be going, oh, fucking fair dinkum. <laughs> well, um, but yeah, it's I showed him something from my generation. He took a fancy to it. We have this running backwards and forwards of who knows boats. I know boats. I know dinghies. You know boats, that sort of thing. So that's Mao's segment. He's going to talk about something that you oh, found of massive interest. Positive, probably. interesting, just oh, even downright humorous. I thought last week's one was pretty good about the um, the Sheila in Iceland who went missing. Sheila, that's not very sexual at all. Th- well, how is a woman any better? I don't know. It's got men in it. <laughs> the woman who went missing in Iceland, she was discovered in her own search buddy. Yeah. Yeah, we spoke about that last week. Mm. That's pretty cool. Mm. So, uh, yeah, that's the idea. Three segments. The main one's going to be the first one. We're going to just bash out a couple of ideas. What are we speaking about this week? Well, um, I've got a good friend of mine, you know. Mm. Um, she's a vegetarian. So I want to dig deeper into what that actually means, right? And she talks a lot about um, how she cooks for a family. And it's not like she says you must eat only vegetables or that, but doesn't serve meat. She does. She doesn't actually serve meat to her family at all. No, all so, friends. We go around for a barbecue, that sort of thing. It's just purely what she likes. She brings to the table. So how do you go around for a barbecue if they're not cooking meat? Oh, there hasn't been a barbecue yet. Oh, I was going to say, yeah, okay, fair enough. But they've got stuff. But yeah, and there's other friends too. She's apparently a magnificent cook. She cooks vegan and vegetarian food awesomely. But I've had this conversation with her in the last couple of weeks, and again, it's only a personal 
observation. It's not an opinion. We're not saying we've got anything against vegans or meat eaters or whatever. But she talks about how the vegans can't justify who she is. And it's almost like she's oh, not good enough right. because she doesn't fit into that category. So it's almost like you got, for, if we're going to use a scientific term, you've got carnivores and herbivores. Right? So you got vegans who absolutely cast out all meat products or animal products because of, of a belief system or a diet or whatever they whatever they believe in for, to become a vegan and then you've got people who eat meat and you've got vegetarians who still eat animal products supposedly yeah. so it's almost like they're well then they're not vegans and so the vegans don't agree with what they're doing yeah. they're not carnivals so the carnivals don't agree with what they're doing yeah so, 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 so is, she, is she a veggie or a vegan I think vegetarian vegetarian I'm so pretty sure eggs. because the vegans like she's made comment that she doesn't fit into the mold of vegans and they sort of criticise her yeah even it sounds like a little bit more than us meat eaters so how do the vegans because apparently we don't know better we're stupid we eat meat but um, she's actually making an effort understanding the whole meat thing and oh well you haven't gone to the nth degree so what is what, what what's her reasons for being a vegetarian not 100% sure not 100% sure no. so do you know why the vegans give her a bit of stink for not being a vegan and being a veggie it's almost like <clears throat> you've gone halfway but you're not willing to go the whole way that's my interpretation right, yeah, that okay. may not be hers yep. but that's what I was hearing when I was hearing these stories yep so I as I do I love poking the bear and challenging what's going on especially after a few so my first question was yep are vegetarians and vegans allowed to have pets great question I guess it's uh, I guess it defi- uh, I guess it comes down to the individual's definition on what animal cruelty is and what animal cruelty isn't because for example dogs and cats for example I mean they need to be fed they need a, a house to live they need to be sleeping on a bed blah 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 do vegans consider it uh, do vegans consider it animal cruelty to house a, a dog or a cat in a house environment that's the question and where's the line yeah when is one pet acceptable and another pet not well one thing I like and sorry to go off on a tangent here one thing I like to say and people ask me would you eat a dog would you eat a cat the way that I look at it ethically being a meat eater I have to be happy to eat any animal so I would be yes I would be happy to eat a dog or a cat if I'm happy to eat a cow which is an animal it's a living being it's breathing a pig or a chicken why would I not be happy to eat a dog and I think ethically from that ground point if you're happy to eat meat you have to be happy to eat all meat okay no, I wasn't asking that question. Yeah, yeah, I know, I know, I know. But yeah, we're just, we're just sort of talking, talking about carnivores and vegans, and vegetarian, yeah, yeah. and what it means to be either cla- uh, classification of them. That's, yeah. that, that's uh, personally for me, ethically. If I'm happy to eat a cow, I have to be happy to eat every animal. Okay, so what I'm hearing is it's about ethics. It's not about taste. So if I was to go to, and I don't mean to stereotype, an Asian nation where they supposedly cook cats or something like that, it wouldn't be an ethical issue that I would say, no, thank you. It would be more, I'm scared this is going to taste like crap. So one thing I have to say to that, people do not eat food that they don't like. Would you agree with that statement? People yeah. People would not continually eat something that tastes like shit. Yeah. Correct? Yeah. So... And once again, not stereotyping a nation. And actually, it's, South Korea has actually just passed bills and passed laws that are going to uh, limit the farming of dogs and cats. They would not be... Sorry, eat- just to clarify, what do you mean by farming? Is uh, it uh, farming uh, them to kill them to eat them? Uh, I've, yeah, I've, uh, apparently in South Korea, they actually farm dogs and cats. That's, that's what I've heard. To I've heard, yeah. kill and eat. To, to kill and eat. Like, okay. Much like we farm cows or pigs or sheep okay. or whatever. Yeah. Example. Yeah. I could be wrong. I, I've, I've read a few articles online. but Well, you've got to believe everything you read online. Oh, you've got to read it, yeah, especially when it comes to Korea. <laughs> <laughs> I don't understand why your racist comments go straight to Korea. Oh no, no. You know what I mean, right? So racist. See, he's racist. Yeah, yeah, the, the, the white honky with bleach blonde hair. With no rhythm. <laughs> surprise, surprise. <laughs> now, so what I'm saying is, is that the cultures and people and ethnic people would not continually eat a certain type of meat or a certain type of meal if it tasted like shit. Yeah, so, so it begs the question: If you go to Korea, but that's not just meat; it's anything. Anything, exactly. Yeah, I mean, do they sheep's bollocks, like anything. Hmm. Um, the, 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 is it dragon fruit in Asia? Smells absolutely horrible to the nose, or that that, that fruit that smells horrible to the nose. They wouldn't eat it if it tasted bad. 
Hmm. So when when you sit there and you talk about fear of oh it's not an ethical reason why I wouldn't eat cat or dog it's whether or not it tastes bad or tastes good but isn't they wouldn't it, serve it to you if it tasted bad but isn't it also a prejudice that you've got this preconceived idea that oh I don't want to eat that because that might taste disgusting therefore you won't even try it well that's what you, that's what a yeah, lot of people do yeah hundred percent yeah and the way that I, I'm I've always been a good eater I'm I'm up for trying everything or anything you know what I mean and. I've got this personal belief and people, people turn their nose up to kangaroo in the supermarket. Why would I eat kangaroo? It probably tastes like crap. Mm. They, wouldn't, they wouldn't sell it at Woolworths if it tastes bad. Mm. People wouldn't buy and eat it if it tastes bad. It's not like they're going to be extinct. They're a pest. They're a pest. Exactly right. Yeah. You, you, can't, you can't kill possums in Australia. Okay. You can kill them at New Zealand and eat them at New Zealand. Okay. They're a pest. Why can you do it to kangaroos and not possums? I wasn't thinking that that was a train of thought. But yeah. anyway, anyway, going back to my understanding around vegans and vegetarians is around how animals are treated mm. so my original question was are they approving pets yeah so and that's an excellent question and that's a really great question because i haven't thought about it that way if you're willing to not consume animal products i.e eggs milk um anything that comes from animal, well that's what ve- veganism is it, it comes down to what you define as being animal cruelty i guess mm. I mean, keeping a dog, it comes down to belief. It comes, yeah. to, it comes down to ethics and morals. Okay, so great tangent there. Ethics and morals. If you say, for example, you decide, okay, today I'm going to be vegan or today I'm going to be vegetarian. Does that mean from this day forward I'm going to move forward or do you worry about what's happened in the past and make that part of the story because I'm going to lead this into another way of looking at I'm it I'm going to have to ask you to rephrase that question okay because when you said yep yeah. makes sense in my head yep. and I do this very very well because in my head it sounds good and then when it comes out it doesn't you said am I going to take this day from move forward to move forward like, yeah, yeah, that's just, communication yeah. at this time of the day and we, we need to hear it first we've spoken about it before yeah. yeah it's a strength by the way communication everyone can communicate but when you've got communication, remember That's the ver- saying, diarrhea. Remember the saying uh, think before you talk? We don't do that. With communication, we like to talk and hear it. And then we go, oh, okay, that didn't make Which sense. Which, granted, right. I, and I understand why it pisses a lot of people off. <laughs> Especially with my, what were they called? Teacher, teacher reports back in school? Yeah. yeah. It, it pisses a lot of people off, but this is what we need to do. We actually had to vocalise it and hear it uh, before. Uh, yeah. Uh, well, if you didn't have strong communication as a strength, there's not many chances of running podcasts and wanting to get on camera. And oh, good point. Yeah. Yeah, but, good point. And you don't have to have that strength to run a podcast, but it, it helps. It certainly helps, especially being an extrovert. Yeah. Very true. Hmm. Very true. So, my question was... Pets. Pets. Moving forward as a vegan or vegetarian. Yeah. Do you then go, okay, I'm not worried about having pets in the past. I'm not worried about what's happened to animals in the past. Or is it from this day forward, everything's fine? Now, this is a leading question. Mm -hmm. And I know in business, we're not meant to ask Mm -hmm. leading questions. But it begs the question of, okay, if you decide as a vegan or vegetarian, you refuse to have anything to do with any animal product or anything that's happened to animals in the past, present, or future, are you prepared to give up medicine? Because I test on animals? Yep. Fuck me, that's a brilliant question. Are you... Oh, I was just about to say, did they test all medicines on animals? Of course they bloody do. How are you going to know? That's a... Gr- Fuck me, dead. I've never even heard that question said before in my life. It's, no, it's never been raised that I've heard or read on a forum. Not that I actively read veganism forums, but... You're only going to hear these sort of questions here on Gen X. On Gen X. That's a... Well, you can't. You can't take medicine. If, if, you're, if you're making that standpoint as a vegan and refuse to take all animal products... And I know a lot of them give up certain makeup brands, and there's mm-hmm. a massive um, mm-hmm. protest over makeup brands. Yep. You, 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 can, you, can't, you can't take medicine. Yep. Because it's been tested on animals, and I'm sure a lot of animals out there have unfortunately passed away through the trials to make sure that these medication are safe for humans. Yeah. Where did you come up with that? I, I've boats. We're all up here. Boats. <laughs> so it comes hey, back did, to. Did, did, sorry, sorry, mate. Did, did you ask Tash this question? No. Not yet. A bit too. Not yet. A bit too heavy hitting. Not yet. Not yet. That's a brilliant question, and I don't know why it hasn't come up. Because I've been saving it for our podcast. 
So you're the first person to come up with this Don't idea. No, I can't say that I have. But it, it, not a very religious person, but grew up in a Catholic Catholic household, society, and all that mm. sort of stuff. And in the Bible, it talks about. Um, the woman who was buried and someone's got to throw the stones at them and Jesus says well he who has not sinned first cannot throw the first stone can throw the, can throw the first stone he who hasn't thrown he who hasn't sinned can throw the first stone right yeah because okay. he's yeah yeah, okay, yeah, yep. yeah 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 so if a vegan is going to have a go at a vegetarian which it goes back to where well, I started well we the tash yeah if you can honestly sit there and say you have never sinned, aka harmed or had anything to do with the animal that could impact an animal's life, you have no right to judge someone else. Just like I've not got any right to judge a vegetarian or a vegan. So it comes back to my story of I don't care what you do. Just don't push it on other people that aren't interested in what you've got to say. Well, that's the main thing, though, isn't it? It's not just about... Veg- well, we're talking about vegetarian and veganism in the podcast, but it comes down to every aspect of life, especially especially religion. And I'm not religious... I mean, one of my aunties is very, very religious, and she's always been one of my best aunties, blah, blah, blah. But, um, yeah, it comes, down, it comes down to all aspects of life, doesn't it? Just I don't care how you live your life. Just don't preach and push it on other people who don't... Mm. Don't want to know. Like we're open to discussion. They're open to discussion, and we're happy to sit here and, and really have an open discussion. We, we spoke about this last week, mate. I mean, there's a difference between having a discussion to grow viewpoints and grow ideas, and it helps you be it helps you form ideas and, and become a better person with the opinions that you form. Don't have an argument. Don't don't come down to just slinging stones for the sake of it. It's, I, I don't even think it's an argument. I think it's a belief that. Someone's better than someone else. Well, that's what it comes. Yeah, beliefs. exactly, one hundred percent. You know what I mean? Whereas if you sat down and had a discussion, you'd solve a lot more. Yeah, yeah. And that's. I didn't use a name. You did, but yeah. No, you used it twice. <laughs> did I? Yes. Okay. 100%. I'll be editing this. Yeah, you'll so be editing yeah, yeah, through edit. that and say that. Um, so, but we have a conversation, never pointing the finger. Yeah. We. Mm. Oh yeah, no, absolutely. Yeah, yeah, hundred percent. Yeah, it's you know yeah, what I mean? it's. You've got to use some sort of anecdotal viewpoint. Otherwise, you you wouldn't have an opinion. You've got an opinion based on someone else or something else or a, 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 another event. Yeah, you know what I mean. Yeah. So you, there's there's definitely have to use anecdotal advice. Anyway, I'm not talking about that. I wanted to speak about something that you brought up, which I found very very interesting. Um, and you brought up medicine before. The eyes. When it comes to herbivores and carnivores, what was that about? I don't quite understand what you mean by medicine. No, no, no. So, no, you brought up the argument about medicine. But before, when I was explaining this to you, yeah. one of the questions I asked to the vegetarian was, my understanding is you've got herbivores and carnivores. Mm. Carnivores have eyes in the front. Herbivores have eyes in the side. So, if we've got our eyes in the front, why shouldn't we be eating meat? Well, it comes down to hunting, doesn't it? It helps you hunt. I, I didn't mean it that way. I, I meant as oh, a, I, oh, sorry. I thought as you meant, a, yeah, I thought you meant no, evolutionary. I, yeah. What you mean evolutionary? You're 100 percent right. What I meant was to ask the vegetarian, please explain why carnivores look forwards. How can you say that that's not acceptable? How can vegans say if you're looking forward, that's not acceptable? You cannot be meat at this. And what she say? Can't remember. 100. percent Yeah. yeah. Was, was she taken aback by that? Or no, no. No, she had an answer for it. Yeah. Pretty sure. Right. And actually, where it led to was, okay, so what do you think about animals that eat other animals? I bet she said reason. Again, it's open to discussion. I've, I've, heard, I've heard that argument And it's before. not about arguing with her or anything like that. It's just, these are the questions that I pose. Let me rephrase that. I've heard that discussion before, and mm-hmm. I've heard the answer, the rebuttal to that discussion. Yeah. I mean, everyone says, oh, well, you're not going to tell a lion to go eat lettuce, are you? But he doesn't know any better. Whereas we have this rationalisation where we can make an ethical decision. Right. So through science and through study, we can determine what's healthy, what's not healthy, Mm. what we can intake, what we can't intake, why we eat meat, why we don't eat meat, why we drink milk, why we eat yoghurt, why we do all these sort of things. So why is it acceptable for a lion, because he doesn't know better, where humans with brains that can analyze and dissect okay this is why we do certain things is it just a belief or is there a scientific reason behind all this sort of stuff as to why not to eat meat at the end of the day from the studies that i have read the reason why our brain developed to be the size and to have the capacity that it does these days is because we started to eat red meat 
and I've heard a lot of studies out there. I've, I've, I've actually watched a, a couple of podcasts um, that there are a lot of vegan people out there and a lot of vegetarian people out there that, because of their diet, have ongoing medical issues. They get tired very, very easily. Um, a lot of them don't sleep very well. A lot of them lose muscle mass because they're just not consuming the protein and the carbs that they have to. to oh, and, and especially the omega, uh, omega acids for the brain development for them to sustain that long term. And there, there are a lot of studies out there that will back that up. And on the podcast I was watching, <clears throat> he's a very famous podcaster. He actually was interviewing um, a bloke there who was uh, or used to be a vegan or used to be a vegetarian, right? And he was saying whether well, a lot of, um, for example, if you eat algae on a large scale, you can get the omega-3 acids that you can, usually would get from fish that you can't get with that diet but you've got to eat it on such a large scale. So if we're talking about men's health and whatnot, if we're actually talking about veganism, vegetarian as a diet, there are a lot of people out there that are struggling and are not getting the dietary requirements because they're not eating meat and they're not allowing themselves to actually process mm. You know what I mean? So it's quite an interesting topic to speak about. Mm. And just to clarify, we're not suggesting oh, no, vegan, yeah, yeah. vegetarian or meat eaters. Yeah. But well, something you said, uh, whatever you did and read, was about red meat. Mm. So... Would it make a difference if people just stopped eating red meat and ate chicken and turkey being white meat? That I don't understand, that, that I don't know, but I do know we were eating red meat before white meat because white meat is predominantly poultry, it's predominantly mm. chicken, mm. and chicken is farmed. There's more chickens in the world than, than people. Okay. Because that, and this could be a topic for another week. Another week, yeah. Um, watching a show the other day around pollution, mm-hmm. and cows are the biggest... Methane. Methane producers in the world, so... My brain goes straight to, okay, if we stop eating cows, does that mean cows are going to reproduce and reproduce and reproduce and then end up killing the world through methane? So if we stop eating cows, then we've got to start eating chickens and that if we want to continue eating meat. Therefore, are we not going to get the nutrients even though we're still meat eaters? Yes, and to, I don't have the answer to that question. Well, what's better, white Come meat? Come on, where are you? <laughs> I know red meat has a higher level of iron. I'm pretty sure about that. Yeah. Which I do believe was the um, the element that helped our brain become the yeah. way it is now. Yeah. Um, another thing as well is that um, everyone puts shit on cows for creating a vast majority of methane in the atmosphere. Mm -hmm. Now, apparently, there are farmers out there, studies that I've seen and TV shows that I've seen, that say you can only farm an amount of land for a certain period of time before it uses up all the... No, 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 no. Let's say say the whole world went vegetarian or or vegan, right? Apparently, you can only farm... Okay, let's say the uh, the whole world went vegetarian and it took up one acre square of land. To feed the whole world. You can only farm that bit of land for a certain period of time before it takes up all the nutrients out of the soil and you can't grow plants on that soil anymore. But science will find a way to grow them faster. Well, science, science will also find a way to grow animals humanely. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. So it's, it's, it's definitely... I mean, we, we, I reckon that's a topic for another day. We'll talk methane and cows and all human, that sort of stuff yeah, yeah, and yeah. pollution and yeah. all that sort of stuff. Um, where are we? 23 minutes. Oh, that's not a bad first that's, session. That's a great session, actually. Awesome, awesome. No, we're going to move into the second segment called Mad Maximizer. Or do we want to switch it around and go boats first? No, no. That's, no. Oh, yeah, okay, enough. Yeah, it's up. Let's go boats, all right? So. So, I know boats. Do you? Don't back chat me. I know boats. So, it's you know boats or Mal knows boats? Don't back chat me, Mal knows boats. <laughs> Happy? Yeah, I am now because there's a. Once again, block her again, please don't sue us. Um, so, interesting little um, fact I discovered during the week. So, everyone knows Rihanna, Beyonce, you know, Kanye West. I know you don't really listen to them. Just to you? clarify, a fact is something that is in the Guinness Book of Records or encyclopedias, or is it something you found on social media? Oh, no, 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 no. So, I've, I've done my fact checking. It's, yeah, I've. I've Okay. Um, obviously, you can never be 100% certain that everything's right, Rena Descartes, but at the end of the day, I've done my fact checking, right? So, you know Rihanna, you know Kanye West, you know Beyonce, all those. Oh, Drake. Have you heard of Drake? Yeah. Canadian? Yeah, 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 yeah. That's a good guess. <laughs> 2016. Guess who outsold all of those artists with albums sold? 2016. Is it. The year relevant, or is it just that time? So, 
Without the, giving me the answer. Yeah, yeah, no, I'll give, the, yes, I'll, I'll give you the answer. So the artist who released a certain CD or a box set of their discography outsold Rihanna, Beyonce, Kanye West, Drake, all the big artists. Of that so time. without knowing what discography means, it means it, it means their um their total music history from start to finish. So we're going to be looking at something like Beatles, Pink Floyd, Michael Jackson. Uh, You're about 300 years off. 300 years off, so Beethoven. Mozart. Mozart. Mozart outsold Beyonce. Uh, and it's as far as I'm concerned, it's not all them together. But he he outsold Beyonce, uh, outsold Beyonce, Rihanna, Drake, Kanye West, outsold all the big artists in 2016. Okay. So you've named North American artists... And obviously, Mozart was sold Europe, everywhere else. Yes, but especially in the modern day music, man. I mean, Beyonce's the biggest artist in the world. Kanye West is the biggest artist in the world, all over the world. Europe. Well, obviously America. not. It's Mozart. Well, I found that quite interesting. Yeah. What I wanted to ask you is, who gets some money from those sales? Is it his family? No, it's open slather now. No, 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 no. no. There, there would be an estate that, that you would not be able to sell a CD without. Again, don't quote me on it, but I'm pretty sure you get 75 years of copyright. Something along those lines. From a business perspective, I don't know what they do with music. Yeah, I was going to say you because... can only sign <clears throat> rights for seventy five years or something like that. I know Michael Jackson in the eighties or nineties. He was well, at an it was at, he was at an auction with Paul McCartney, and he actually outbid Paul McCartney for the Beatles discography. So you're saying from and funnily enough, you say outbid. What yeah. happened? We've been to a Calcutta before, and if you win something or own something, you want to bump the bid up. So. It, you, Maybe he was just trying. You do not get our bid unless you are happy with the price. No, it just goes to show how big Michael Jackson was. And I'm, I'm not a Michael Jackson fan. I'm a massive Beatles fan. But it just goes to show how much money he had. If Paul McCartney wanted the discography for his music, well, for him and Lennon, uh, for Paul, uh, McCartney and Lennon's music, he would have bought it. Exactly. And Michael Jackson had that much money, he could outbid Paul McCartney for his own music. Not our bid. Paul McCartney just went... I'm not going to pay for it. I'm just going to bump up the price until I feel it's good enough and then I get all, what, one third? No, apparently Michael Jackson bought all rights. Yeah, but he gets a third of whatever Michael Jackson paid off. Surely. Oh, well, he wouldn't be... Where does the money go? <clears throat> he wouldn't be bidding on it if he didn't own it. Who? No, oh, okay, yeah, no, you're right. Yeah, okay, fair enough. I, I don't know who owned it. Maybe yeah. Abbey Road or no, whoever it was. No, it would have been EMI it. or something like that because they own yeah. the phone. Right? Yeah. yeah. So he's saying, right, I will only get 10 cents on the dollar every time it's played. So go, so, but if Michael Jackson spends $150 million on I it, I now played. get yeah, 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 90 yeah, yeah. cents every time it's played. Go back to what you said before, though. When you say you've got a 75-year lease, you want to call it? Or? That's normally on writing, like written products, like books and stuff like that. So, you're, tell, so you're telling me that... Um, who wrote Jay Gatsby? J- uh Okay, well, um, what's a famous... Well, I'm not very big on literature. Well, he's a big author from the early 2000s. Oh, uh, there's a book... Uh, <clears throat> a Catcher in the Rye was written 70, well, more than 75 years ago. So, the author's family or estate does not get any more money from that book. I don't know. Well, I, all I know is that through uh, marketing and business and, and that sort of stuff, there are certain books that have been written that came up to the 75-year period. Once it goes over to 75 years, it's free for all. So, you can use... Anything oh, out of it, right. copyrighted, all that. I don't so, so, know. It's like a, so it's like a patent runs out. Yeah, sort of. So, 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 so yeah. you can only Again, I don't it. know if it's the same with music, yeah. but yeah. Right. So there's a book, um, it's a famous one. Oh, anyway. Anyway. Right. Anyways, yeah, so, so what I wanted to say is that I, I was quite curious to know who got the, um, the money for all the CDs sold, if it's not Mozart or his family. Wow. Is that someone from Gen Y talking about CDs? How does that work? Hey, I used to have a Walkman. Wow. Thanks, Grandma. Yeah, I remember when they were invented. <laughs> yeah, you are about 40. <laughs> no, I remember what, I, I won one when I was about 14. You won one? Radio yeah. show? No. Nah. Um, walked into a shopping centre with my mum, and uh, there was some bloke on these, and they weren't yo-yos, they were like these sporting balls, but you'd play it like a yo-yo. Oh, the the round yo Oh, I have seen them. I yeah. Believe it or not, I have seen them. Yeah, yeah. Yep. So we're talking... Over 50 sort of shopping centre. I walked in. I'm the only kid in there, but I've got one of these things. And anyone want to come up and have a go? And you got to do the loop, the loop thing. Oh, the, yeah, the, the around the world? Yeah, yep. around the world. So I did it about eight times. And he goes, there you go. Bang, bang, bang. Three prizes or something. And one of them was a walk. And forget, I don't know boats. You know boats, mate. Well done. Yeah, absolutely. So there you go. Now knows boats. That's the end of that segment. Well done, mate. Mad Max. 
What do we want? Do we want a miser? So uh, for the third and final segment this week, uh, Mad Maximizer, which is where Dan he doesn't complain about something. He finds a certain aspect in life and discusses how we can do it better. Correct. Absolutely. What are you talking about this week, mate? Um, I'm going to talk about banking, and it's probably something you don't quite understand because you ask me all the time when we transfer money to each other. You just say, hey, it's instant. It can be done straight away. I was like, payments. No way in hell. It doesn't happen that way. It's never happened in my lifetime, and it's still not happening today. And he goes, no, nah, rubbish. It does. So where I see a flaw in how this is... Actually, I don't see a flaw. I just see that the bank's fleecing us. So on my statement, it shows up saying, okay, um, paid the internet on the 18th of the month, right? Like your internet bill. Yeah. 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 So in my account where I pay the bills, I go, okay, well, as long as I've got money in on the 17th, it'll come out on the, the next day. Yeah. The other month, and normally there's more than enough to pay the bills, but this month we'd had a short month on Airbnb and it was mm. a bit quiet, so I'm just putting money in when the bills need to be paid. Yeah. This month I get... The bill saying, oh, last month, you didn't have enough in there. We're going to charge you 15 bucks. I'm like, hang on. What, like, a, like, it's like it's a late fee or the something? A late fee. Right. So what they actually did, they tried to withdraw the money on the 13th or the 14th. But it's due on the 18th. It's due on the 18th. Oh, it comes out on the 18th on my statement. I'm just thinking the way you've been teaching me in your generation that banking is instantaneous, that... As long as the money's in there the day before it comes out of my statement, well, that's what it's, it's meant. Good well. If I send you money with Osco payments, is well, you, you're with you're with a smaller branch. Yep. So with the big four and you know St George's a subsidiary of Westpac, whatever. If the big four, if you send money to a bank account, it is instantaneous. Yeah. And I can I can prove that to you. I know you don't believe me, but with the big four banking and my generation will tell you, now, it is instantaneous. It's not that I don't believe you. It is. This is how banks are making money, and this is where Maximizer is about making things better. I'm not sure how we make this better, other than stopping the shareholders getting less for ripping us off. The banks as a are just being customer. pricks. It's not the banks; they're doing it for their shareholders. Well, the, so they can make money. Yeah, so, the, sh- the shareholders. So I'm still losing the banks. money because I don't know what day they want to take money out of my account to pay for a bill that's due on a certain day. The banks are being pricks because. You are billed on the 18th in this scenario. You were billed on the 13th. Oh, it could be random. Whatever. It doesn't so you matter. got weekends that come in. Uh, in this day and age, and this is where I'm saying, I don't. it's not that I don't believe you. It's just I don't believe the system is exactly what you say. So how do we make, make it better? Sense? Be honest. Yeah. Well, banks if, be honest? If the technology is there to say your, your bill is due today, as long as you've got the money in there today, that's fine. Don't give us this 50-50, oh, it could be two days away, three days before, all this sort of stuff. Yeah, 100%. And don't turn around and go, oh, that's just the way it is. It was a weekend. No, it's not. This is a computer system. Tell me which computer knows it's Saturday and when do computers suggest that Saturday is not a working day? And the reason why... Do computers sleep on Saturday and Sunday? The reason why we use use computers is so people don't go to the banks on the weekend and have to do this bullshit. The computers do it for us. Yeah, exactly right. Now, what you spoke about last week um, with your Mad Maximum, with people sitting in the right hand lane yeah have you seen any better I don't drive so I haven't been out on the road for that exact reason <laughs> yeah absolutely <laughs> <laughs> beautiful I live where I work and I work where I live so I've only got to travel within a 500 meter radius I would say cheers to that but you're a bit ahead of me so. yeah. well it is your birthday happy birthday to Mel on Saturday birth week Happy birthday to Mel on Saturday. And before we go, we're going to let you know where you can like, share, and join our subscription. Follow. Follow? Yeah. Sorry. Wrong word. I thought it just said subscribe. Some say follow. Yeah, follow. Yeah. Subscribe, follow. Yeah, you don't you don't join a TikTok or you don't join an Instagram. You, f- you start following them. Okay. So what about subscribing to YouTube? Yes, you subscribe to YouTube, but you're all about semantics. You don't join YouTube, you subscribe. Oh, some people may be listening to this on a podcast and never joined YouTube before. No? What were you saying? Uh, if they want to contact us, or sorry, contact me, I'm old school, I'm Gen X. You can get in touch with me through email. Our service. At Danny at GenXY at 
chooseyourchapter.com.au. But Mal's looking after all the socials. Yep, so Instagram and TikTok so far, guys. It is gen underscore xy underscore. That is gen underscore xy underscore on Instagram and TikTok. The tags are the same. So hit us up. Yep, and if you are watching this on YouTube, please subscribe. We'd love you to see us again next week. Drop a comment. I'll see you. Drop a comment. Yep, like, share, follow, jump up and down, send us a Christmas card. Have a good time with your missus. Oh, so everyone's male. <laughs> oh, sh- well, or, or, or your or your bloke. Oh, hang on, they might be... Fuck, yeah, sorry. <laughs> Have a good time with your missus. Have a good time with your boyfriend. Love life. Happy birthday to me. Let's go. So they're all gay or male. No, 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 no. Have like, a good time with your... Missus. Or boyfriend. Yeah, so... So what about husband, daughter, son? Why would you have a good time with your daughter? Because it's Christmas. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's Christmas time. Happy holidays. It's actually November. It's my birthday. Fuck it. Enjoy my birthday. Goodbye.